Hey y'all, it's your girl Brittany. I'm back. I'm better with another video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Like the video, click the bell to be notified of every time I post because I do post frequently. All right, y'all, y'all already know we getting into, we jumping, we skipping, we hopping, we leaping, we doing a duggy, a duggy, duggy into this video. Click the link down in the description box below to become a member on my Patreon. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm not going to lie, y'all, I'm up early in the morning super early where i'm at um please if you hear something in the background that's my heater your girl is trying to do something with this light bill okay and i'm trying to see i seen this tiktok where somebody said we're not turning we turning that heat in the air off all winter and we're just gonna put a heater i'm like okay let me see but if that power bill the same baby the heat will be back on okay but I'm very, like, a hot and cold person, too. Just, okay, y'all don't care. Anyways, so I want to come on here and make a video. Ain't nothing necessarily been going on in the streets. So it's time for me to start popping out my ideas. And I love popping out my ideas. I love giving y'all different videos, you know, of just, like, thoughts I've had. And, you know, just going more in depth with stuff that we like. So this video really is all about Ricky and Kayla. It's all about them. It's all about y'all. So um I'm gonna take a lot of time on Kayla. So I really want to start with Ricky. First of all, I believe as though Ricky was really good on girls trip. Even though she left early, she made a big impact. Oh let me say this too. I'm gonna let y'all know it's not gonna be no nothing in the video. It's very early. It's my lazy day today. Um, I just want to talk more so. I really don't want to spice it up, give y'all what I've been given. Right now, I just want to talk and, you know, be in the grass with y'all. Okay. So, just to let y'all know, it won't be a lot of, no editing in this video. It's just going to be the screen and just, just listen, just listen. Okay. Boom. So, I feel as though, even though Ricky left Girls Trip early, which, like, some hours early, she left a big impact on Girls Trip. And I think it was more so, Ricky didn't necessarily give us a whole bunch of personality, but she gave us enough to be like, we want to see you again. I think Girls Trip was overwhelming for Ricky. As far as a jump needs to be had. You know, a sneak had to be done. I think that overwhelmed Ricky. And Ricky wasn't ready to come in to that type of environment. Which I understand. You know, sometimes you think that you want to be in these intense environments. And it's not for you. I do believe that if at first you don't succeed, pick it back up and try again. I want Ricky back on my screen because I feel as though she got the hands for it. She got the hands. And to be honest, the face that she was catching, they was they was really looking for her and she was eating the girls up. And I think that's another reason why I really am rooting for Ricky. Okay, number one for me, when it came to Lori being like, oh, all y'all got to square up. Ricky was tearing Lori up, okay? Tearing her up, tearing her down. She didn't even have to do too much. It was tearing Lori down, tearing her down. Then when it came to Heffa, she truly was just asking Heffa a question. Then when Heffa was trying to talk to her, quote unquote, like was just trying to resolve the situation, Heffa tried to turn up on Ricky. And Ricky was like, turn up on who? Turn up on where? You're not turning up on me. You're not doing that with me, which I'm like, right. And Ricky had every right to defend herself because it was like, Heffa, you trying to, you came in trying to be peace, love, and happiness. And then you, you wanted to jump jump crazy and ricky had to jump on that and get you and she got you period every time now the only thing i really didn't care for about ricky was ricky was like i'm not gonna keep fighting her i'm like girl get in the pain what are you talking about um when it came to help like she was just like i gave you two rounds i did that i did feel as though i wanted to see ricky go another round but ricky just didn't want to give us that but i feel like the rounds that she did it made sense like Lori thinking that she finna come in and be tag teaming people. Ricky was like, not me, not me, not doing me. Got her. Boom. With Helfer. She was trying to talk to her, you know, trying to just tell her, hey, I asked you a question. Helfer jumped off crazy. Not me, not me. So I would like to see Ricky on our screen. Maybe she just don't need to be in an environment where it's just so many new girls. 
maybe she need to come in when it's like not as many new girls, people who are used to being on the camera, in my opinion. And I think she would have a better time because I do believe girls trip. It was so many new girls in a, most of the girls is really just thirsty for camera time and they want to show off their skills. You know, it's even man, man 2.0, how he was doing with playboys just want to show off their skills on certain people. And I think with Lori, Lori picked, Lori picked Ricky, but she could not show off her skills with Ricky. And that's why she went in that room trying to sneak Ricky. And even when she snuck Ricky, Ricky still got her, laid her out, made her go touch some grass and understand, baby, you're not beating me. You're not whooping me, babe. You're not whooping me. Because she did not whoop Ricky at all. Okay, boom. So, I felt some type of way about that. I was just like, yeah, like, I want Ricky to come back. Um, I think it was just too chaotic for her, which I understand. Okay. Now, it's not about them, but let's just go and add them in here, too. So, Lori, Sweet Jab. Kayla. So Kayla ends up saying like young and rec young and reckless season three me. No ma'am. No ma'am. I like y'all, but I feel as though y'all are not allowing us just yet to like y'all. Like y'all y'all trying to come in too fast and be on all the shows. You need to relax. Because Okay, I look at now this TV shows like different universes. Everybody can't jump from universe to universe to universe. When they do, Ivory, allow people to jump from universe, universe, universe. A lot of times they will mess that universe up. They can help it or they can destroy it. Mind y'all, when it came to Ivory, we had asked them not to put her on season two. She, she... She did do her job and come in and entertain us, but the entertainment went too far because when she threw the piss on Mel, we then we then came out of our bag of being entertained to our bag of being concerned. And as a viewer, you never want to get out the bag of in, being entertained because you then start look like it it takes you out the fantasy of like enjoying the show. It 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 puts you back in like a reality space and you don't want to be in reality. You know, we watch these shows to get out of our own reality to enjoy whatever universe they bring us in. So once they start going too far in the universe, it's like, really? Like, why would you do that? And we get back into like our logical thinking brains and, we're, and we get sucked out of like being a consumer. Okay, boom. So, for me, I feel as though they're doing a lot right now when it comes to Kayla, Lori, and Jack. I do think, you know, we like them. But at the same time, calm down and, 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 and back up. Y'all just got on one show, y'all on another show. Let us, let the show play out so we can see what we like about y'all. And no shade, sometimes... We like y'all on those shows and those shows only. I know everybody want to do the ivory where you go from show to show to show to show to show. But low key already y'all have put a bad taste in people's mouth. From the, the African, um, I wouldn't even call them jokes, but like African insults that Kayla was trying to make because she, she can't crack that. From Lori, like, sneaking people, but to picking and choosing, because Lori do be picking and choosing. And from Jap in that bikini. Like, y'all are, calm down. Like, let, let the show, let us get to know y'all more on South Central. Instead of y'all already being like, put me on here, put me on there. No. Sometimes we just like y'all on certain shows and y'all just need to stay on certain shows. When it comes to Knuckles, you don't see Knuckles trying to go from every every show. Knuckles wouldn't be right on every show. The the aesthetics of the show don't go with everybody's personality. Everybody don't need to be on everything. Like, what's that boy named Pharaoh? Pharaoh, honestly, in my opinion, shouldn't be on no show. Shouldn't be on none. 
But if I had to put him in the universe, I would keep him over there on Playboys. He was not good for Greek life. Crystal, another one. I feel as though she shouldn't be on no shows. But if she's going to be on a show, keep her on Young and Reckless. Don't try to take her out of the universe. Kai, I don't care for Kai. I feel like the universe Kai should stay in is um, Young and Reckless. I feel as though when they be trying to take too many of them out of different universe, Don Ye, Don Ye, stay behind the camera. You know, like everybody don't need to be out of the universe. Sometimes you good, at, you great in the universe that you're in, but as soon as you get out that universe and try to go to another one, we will not like you. And every, I think a lot of them think that they're gonna have the ivory effect. You are not going to have the ivory effect, babes. Somebody put in my comments, they said, my, my relationship with Ivory needs to be studied because I do not like her, but I love her. That is true. Ivory can turn into the villain real quick or the superhero. A lot of y'all don't have that in y'all. Y'all don't. Ivory has funny moments and she can fight, fight. Like y'all can fight. But y'all is not, y'all not taking everybody through that at y'all fight. Most of the times, 90% of the time, Ivory's winning. And even if somebody do get a head up on Ivory, it, it's, it's, it's not like she won't go back and fight them. She'll go back and fight them again. She, it, a win or lose really don't matter to her because she's not scared of nobody. And Ivory don't necessarily, in my opinion, pick and choose. Some of y'all... A lot of y'all be picking and choosing. You know, a lot of y'all really don't be wanting to be the villain. Y'all really be wanting to be liked. And Ivory really don't care if she liked or not. I think it get to her sometimes, but she has a big enough fan base of people who like her and don't, but still are going to tune in to her, you know? Yes. So, I feel as though y'all, they're trying to force y'all on us, or y'all are trying to force y'all on us, and I just need y'all to... Back up just a little bit, babes. Just a little bit. Y'all need to be backed up. It's not. No. Like, let us get to know y'all. Let's get to know y'all a little more. Okay, let's move on to Kayla. Woo, make some noise. Woo. Okay, I like Kayla. I think Kayla is pretty. Um, AKA Miss Foam at the Mouth. I think Kayla is pretty. I do. BBL needs to go immediately. Like, let's go and pop those balloons in the back. I like Kayla. Kayla can tussle. She can. But the whole um, bunk, bunk, I'm on bunk. Let me tell you why bunk is going to be in the trash somewhere. So, mind y'all, when we, okay, I'm going to say me. When I first started reviewing, which we're almost at a year, I cannot wait till we get to a year, y'all. Ah! But anyways. So, when I first started reviewing Natalie's TV, mind you, it was very organic. These girls, in my opinion, wasn't necessarily looking for like a quote-unquote moment. They were not, they were not giving catchphrases or like saying something over and over for us to start saying it for example on my soul on the homies um on god in heaven that came off of how they grew up the the city they from stuff like that they came off their culture the la culture the la roots that's in their everyday slang so you know we watching them. They in the midst of an argument. They like, oh, my soul don't got to have a girl. Don't play with me. Da, da, da. Do you need that? Do you need that? I'm going to give you that. Do you need that? A jump was had. You know, all that stuff comes from them just being organic and not necessarily looking for a moment, but being in being inside of a moment and just giving it to us raw. And us like liking what they saying and putting it in our everyday slang. You know, do you need that? A jump was had. All this came from, like, spaces of them having to defend themselves or spaces of, like, because I ain't playing with you. I'm on that. You know? Even I'm on that. That that came from a space 
like I said, of them defending themselves, even if we go to Zeus, we can go to Jonathan, um, bad boys, work out, work out. Like that came from somebody having to defend themselves and him cheering them on. Baby, y'all make me work out. You know, I'm about to work you, you know, um, it's a girl. I don't know what show she came from, but she was like, um, I remember seeing it. I think on blog Nays, um, Instagram, but it was like, no rings, no rings, all knuckles, I gave you that, it, it's something like that, but somebody then brought it to another show and was like, no rings, no rings, like, yeah, I'm on that, I did that, like, you know, let it be known, like, I ain't need no rings and your, your blood down, babe, it's your, your, like, pick your face up off the ground, babes, these, like, these sayings come from an organic place, they come from a place of just being in the moment and talking your stuff, like, in and, and not just that, bringing your culture and your slang into a situation that you in you know it's just like how i be like i be saying on god on god i think i say on god more than anybody in the world because on god on god in heaven you know what i'm saying like literally i think those phrases were able to transfer over because it was coming from an organic place. It wasn't coming from a place of trying to make you say the word. Cause and, and mind you, a lot of it roll off the tongue. On oh my soul, on oh God in heaven. Do you need that? A jump was had. You know, all that rolls off the tongue organically, just rolling mid conversation. How do you look saying, do you need that? A oh, bunk. Huh? What? Um, bunk, don't play with me. Mm. What? On oh, God in heaven, cause on bunk I take it there. Hmm. What? It's not that. It's not the same, and it don't stick. It's too. It's it's too ugly. It's it's not a good word. And I think because she keeps saying that she believed that then we're gonna say it, and. It don't work like that, babes. It it don't work like that. Like I said, a lot of this stuff, a lot of the sayings came from organic places. These people were just talking. And sometimes they ain't even say it a whole bunch of times because if I'm not mistaken, when it came to pressure saying, do you need that? It wasn't like she just kept saying it. Like every time she got into it, do you need that? It 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 wasn't like that. But once, you know, it got popularized, everybody then was like, do you need that? Ma, um, shoot, I can't think of anything else, but like, do you need that? Even the girls on South Central did on the homies, you know, then the Playboys thought they was gonna do it, and we was like, nah, it don't translate. Like, don't try to steal South Central Betty slang, and we quick to clock that too. Like, you know, when other universes then try to steal each other's slang and trying to make it their own, it'd be like, no. Keep it at what it originally was. And a lot of times, too, a lot of the slang come from South Central baddies. So, in my opinion, I just feel as though sometimes, you know, you just need to be organic. Nobody is going to be around here saying, I'm bunk, I'm bunk, I'm bunk. It just don't sound right. I'm on bunk, I'm on bunk. It just don't sound right to me, in my opinion. And like I said before... Y'all trying to go, y'all trying to go from universe to universe. We haven't even seen y'all too, too good on the universes yet. Like, mind you, y'all are on two-day shows. Like, right, like, well, we get three to four episodes. So, we don't, we know y'all, we know y'all hands, we know y'all hands could work. But we have to see more personality, see if y'all funny, da-da-da. The funny, I ain't gonna lie, I, none of y'all is making me kiki, no shade. I do feel like, um... Y'all do be doing too much. I, I think y'all need to go back and study how y'all looked on Girls Trip because y'all did do too much. Lori is, and Lori is already trying to paint herself as the villain. Talking about, I know y'all don't like me. Like, we don't know you to not like you. Like, you already making it seem like you're the villain. Ain't nobody stunning you, though. Like, y'all are new. And we haven't really had like a full season of y'all. We only have had 48 hours. And then with South, with South Central, 
we y'all as soon as y'all came like y'all came at the end so we have to wait to see what else y'all are giving but even too one thing about us one thing about us we will we will quickly get rid of y'all or bring y'all back we just got to see how y'all act on here. Because my thing is, on Girls Trip, I feel as though y'all was picking and choosing. And y'all really wanted to fight weak links. No shade. I don't know what Winner was saying. I don't know how much Winner was talking. But the way Kayla kept wanting to run up on Winner was getting on my nerves. Same way with Lori. Lori wanted to fight J. Dior. Girl, you know J. Dior weak. Like, and you up here, I'm finna get her, I'm finna get her, like, doing too much. I Y'all are too thirsty for camera time. I believe y'all a little too thirsty for camera time. Y'all need to calm down. Y'all need to back up. But what I do like is the fact that now they put y'all in the house full of people who are new and who are ready and they on there and they want to fight. And I want to see, are y'all still on bunk? <laughs> As Kayla would say, do y'all still need that? I heard a jump was being had though. So, I need to see all this. I need to see what is given. Now, mind you, they already said, like, these are stars of the show because they brought them on the podcast. I might review it. Now that I've seen episode one, I might then review the podcast, but we're going to have to see about that. Um, But they said that Lori, Kayla, Billy, Zania, all of them was the stars of the show. We are going to see. Because I seen Isaiah say these are the stars. And y'all know I even said too. I'm finna stop look, looking forward to people to come on the show. Because every time I get to looking forward. Them be the main ones I don't like. And I be screaming their name from the rooftops. And I be like oh my god I'm so excited to see them. And then they disappoint me. And then I don't care for them as much anymore. So I'm going to stop saying oh I want to see this person. I want to see a person. I don't want to see nobody right now. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. I just wanted to make this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what to do in the comment section. In the comment section. All right, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye.